Hey Virgo, how's it going? Um, all right, well, you see the cards. Let's go ahead and get into the energy and um, where I see this person at in the connection with you and where I see you at. Um, so <clears throat> the energy of the current situation, we have clear quartz and the five of wands. Okay. Um, there could be some sort of disagreement going on. Um, Virgo, when I finished pulling the cards, I immediately like, I'm feeling the sense of like, you have a lot going on and you could be being pulled in a lot of different directions. Okay. Work, family, friends, things like that. All right. And a lot of you too, Virgo, something I'm getting is it's almost like you're trying to settle a lot of things all at once. You're trying to settle different disputes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm getting, that's, that's what I'm getting with you. It's like, you're trying to sort out a number of things. Okay. So, and I'll, I'll touch more on that. All right. Um, whoever this is Virgo and remember, you know, now with the readings, what I'm getting with how my readings resonate is this, this doesn't just have to be one person, but this is like the energy of, um, people, a person that you're connecting with. Okay. So how they show up is with the queen of swords, gazelle spirit. And it says, I'm a better person because of you. I feel more optimistic and full of life. Okay. Now, um, this could be a Libra. Okay. This could also be an Aquarius or a Gemini. Um, whoever this is very specifically Virgo, this person wants to, they want to settle things with you. Okay. Queen of swords is someone who takes a very diplomatic approach and can see both sides. Okay. This person can see both sides that this, uh, they may even tell me Virgo, I, you know, Hey, I see Virgo side of things. I'd like Virgo to understand, you know, where I'm coming from, things like that. Okay. And this person, Virgo, like they want you in their life. Okay. You're trying here. I feel like a, a lot of you, Virgo, you are trying with this person. I do get that. Okay. Um, really quickly, because you show up with the six of pentacles, the B. And, um, it says you are so different from anyone I know yet you feel so familiar. So whoever this is, is, is very familiar to you. Okay. And they probably are very different from a number of people in your life. Okay. Uh, for some of you, when I see the word familiar, this is like a family member. Okay. Um, There's conflict in this connection because we have the five of wands. Okay. What I'm seeing too, Virgo, it's like there's other people involved here, but between you two, all right. Interestingly enough, the six of pentacles, how you show up is the minor arcana for justice. Okay. So we have, again, justice is Libra. So you're showing up, um, this is moon and Taurus, but I'm still getting like this, this Libra type of energy. Okay. A part of this, the part of the reason why you show up with the six of pentacles is 
you're conflicted about trusting who this is, Virgo. Okay. You're conflicted about trusting who this is. But what I'm hearing is it's because there are other people involved. There's other energy at play. Okay. Okay, hold on. So I feel like a number of you, like you are limiting your interaction with who this is, Virgo. Your interaction with this person is limited. Okay. A number of you could be like breadcrumbing who this is with the Six of Pentacles energy. Okay. Hold on. Something I'm getting, Virgo, is this person has grown a lot. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, they've grown a lot. And in the past, I feel like in the past, you and this person have had a negative experience, Virgo. I'm getting a big cold chill. You and this person had a negative experience. It may have been, it may have been really bad. Okay. But whoever this is, they want to end that. They want to approach you. Okay. They want to approach you. And it can be. Like I'm hearing them say, I want a one-on-one -on -one with Virgo. I just want to talk to Virgo. I don't care about all these other people. I don't care about all this stuff. I don't care about what happened in the past. Okay. Let's settle this and move forward. Because this is Saturn. Saturn and Leo. So it's kind of like a battle of the egos here. Okay. And yeah, I'm getting Virgo. You're very conflicted with how you look at this person. Okay. Some of you may still have, again, I'm getting this vibe of you just being like pulled in all these different directions, Virgo. And then it's like whoever this queen of swords shows up. And you're already with the B energy. I'm seeing you kind of grouchy. <laughs> you know, you, you have your complaints about other things going on and you're just like, okay, now what do you want? You know? And whoever this is, I feel like they get that. They get it with the queen of swords. They're very logical and, uh, and I'm getting an understanding and a part of them, uh, Virgo, is nervous about approaching you with the gazelle spirit. They are nervous. They're anxious about what is going to happen in the future with you and them. Okay? Whatever happened between you two, what's very interesting is... It made them a better person. That's why they show up with this. And it, it was something that, that happened with you, you two. A number of you would be surprised, Virgo. Because for uh, some of you, you were essential for this person's development. Okay? Their character, um, their mental development, okay? Things like that. You, the, the role that you played with this person, um, it's kind of like the role of Saturn. Okay. It's kind of like the role of Saturn where you were a teacher and, um, could still, you know, hold on. It's like somebody coming back to tell the teacher that's how I'm seeing you, you like are in this like teacher mode. Okay. And, and that's like maybe even your role with a lot of people in your life, but 
you never really appreciate the teacher or, you know, until you've experienced life. Cause this person has experienced life. I feel outside of the connection with you. I mean, obviously. Right. But it's kind of like they're coming back and, um, you know, saying maybe I understand, I understand why you uh, had to operate in that way with me, Virgo. I understand why that all happened. And it, it's for some of you, this person I'm hearing wants to give you your flowers. They want to tell you like, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for everything that happened because, um, it made me a better person. Okay. These have typos. I know it says letter person, but just let's keep going, Virgo. Cause I know yo ass noticed, but, um, <laughs> but it did make them a better person. Okay. Yeah. And they're in this place where, you know, I'm hearing like, you know, with clear courts, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Okay. And it's interesting because clear courts is also a nine. So this is showing me that the place where you all are at in this connection, Virgo, um, this feeling of, um, the term strife just came up this feeling of, you know, you having to, um, the phase that you and this person are in is coming to an end. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. Because up next, I'm even getting like, I'm getting like the ace of wands energy. When I see him reaching up for that fire, I'm, I'm getting like, you know, this person, there's some sort of action they want to take here, Virgo. And it's from a place of passion, like they're passionate about it. Okay. And they're wanting this new beginning and you're involved in it. Okay. Excuse me. A reason why you don't again, trust this person Virgo is because they are very different. You know, um, a, a number of you could be that very traditional, like queen of pentacles. Okay. Very grounded, very, uh, traditional in how you operate and do things. And whoever this is, they may function differently than you, or they're just a different person. However, what I'm hearing is now when they look back, they understand like someone like you is vital. Someone like you is, is important. Okay. And they definitely, whoever this is, they have a more optimistic view about the next chapter with you. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking at like, they are very different, but There's something very familiar about them too. You know, there's, um, Hmm. Hold on. I would tell your person, you know, cause, cause you're like, you're willing, you're, you're open to having a conversation with who this is Virgo, even with the B, you know, this is somebody who is very hardworking. Okay. And, um, that, I mean, that is you Virgo, you know, very hardworking, very diligent. Okay. And wants to get the job done. So, okay. Yes. Hold on. I'm just hearing something else about falling in line. It's almost like you're, you're like, well, I'm willing to do the work if this person like falls in line or, you know, if they don't come at me any type of way, which I don't feel like they will. They don't, mm -mm. if this person ever disrespected you, Virgo, I don't see them doing that. 
I don't see them because they, I just get a lot of growth. Okay. I get a lot of growth with who this is. And I think a number of you, you and this person had to kind of move away from each other or have some time apart in order for there to be clarity, in order for both of you to gain clarity about each other, okay? So this is really good. This is really, really good. Yeah, this person has their mind right. I'm seeing it, Virgo. They have their mind right. Okay. And they're focused on how they want to settle things with you. How can we move forward? Because they're focused on the future. Okay. But there's still some things from the past lingering. There's still some, you know, there's, there's obstacles here. And the biggest obstacle would probably be, it's interesting. I was going to say Leo, <laughs> maybe there is a Leo, like there's Leo energy. That is the obstacle, but I think the biggest obstacle here is the past. Okay. And past arguments, past fights. Okay. And also like other people being involved because I am, I'm seeing this person say, I just want to get Virgo one-on-one. -on -one. I want to talk to Virgo. Okay. So the relationship message of clear courts, check this out. It says it's easy to magnify the flaws in others and forget to reflect on where you might need to grow. When clear courts appears, it's a sign for you to turn your attention to all that is wonderful in the people you care about in yourself and in your relationships. Grow what is good. Grow what is working. No one can be all things to all people, all times. So cut yourself and your partner some slack. And that's what I'm seeing when it's so funny when I read that, I'm like, that's what I was getting with you. I, I'm like, Virgo has a lot going on. You know, you are, you, um, like you wear many hats. You are, you know, a mother to some, a sister to some, a friend to some, you know, a boss to some, you just have all these hats. And I do get this vibe of you being overworked. Okay. And then this person comes in you're like, oh my God, here we go. You know? <laughs> Um, so, and then it says today, celebrate who you are and what you experience in your relationships that helps you feel loved and appreciated and share that celebration with others. Say thank you to people in your life who make it better in so many different ways. All right. So that could be that vibe of, um, this person wanting to say thank you. It's like, there's two things I'm getting that this person wants to talk to you about. Okay. The first part is Virgo. I want to settle this. I want to settle what's going on here. The second part is they want to present you with an idea. Okay. And it's something new. All right. That's what I'm seeing. And I, I do feel like you're open to it. Like I said, I would tell your person, like, I think Virgo's open to it. But I also feel too with you because you have, you show up as air. So there are things that you want to communicate or you feel like it's necessary to communicate these things with who this is, you know, Like you want to mention things, you want to talk about certain things. Okay. And with you, it, it's your, I think you'd be like, well, like, let's take this day to day. Let's take this day by day. Okay. So, but this is really good. And at the bottom of the deck, you know, 
we have the Ten of Cups, which I feel like is your energy, okay? And you have the Knight of Cups, which I feel like is your person. There's the flowers right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I feel like your person, this could be a Pisces. I don't feel like they want any trouble, Virgo. I really don't. I feel like, I don't feel like this person wants any trouble. Um, and you know, you do, you do have a lot going on, but they, I feel like this person wants to be a part of things. They want to be a part of things you have going on, Virgo. They want to be a part of your life. And, um, and let's, and let's just move forward. Okay. So that's what I see so far. Okay, so that's part one. We're going to now get into part two, Virgo. And I'll let you see the cards. You get a preview. If you feel like it's something that's going to be helpful, then click the links below in the description top of the comments for Vimeo. Now, what we are going to get into on part two obviously is what I see happening next okay where all the energy is going where they're at where you're at um and then we're going to talk about what this person wants overall in this relationship with you okay what do they think is going to happen in this relationship with you and then um what do I get what outcome do I get you know uh, potential, all that good stuff. I'm going to give you a timeline of when I see forward movement, Virgo. And then we are going to talk about your advice. What would be the best way to operate with who this is? Okay. At least the messages that I get. All right. So keep watching. Like I said, if you're interested, I'll see some of you over on Vimeo for part two. If this is where we part ways, Virgo, thank you so much for watching your reading. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Peace.